The comeback falling just short tonight, down 16 with eight minutes to go, and then the Nets with multiple chances at the end of the game to tie Sarah. I mean, it's easy to see that Kyrie, Kevin Durant, pick and roll at the end of games is going to be tough for opponents to stop, and you're going to get good looks. But that look maybe could have shot a three, but even still, Durant got the look he would have wanted, just didn't roll in. And we can sit here and try and pick apart or scrutinize that last possession, that last play. But I think it was just a small part of the issues that really occurred from start to finish of this game. More of it came down to the turnovers and the lack of attention to detail, turning over the basketball, second chance opportunities for Charlotte that led to so many extra possessions throughout the course of this game. And give the, give the Hornets credit. They played with confidence. They did an excellent job at both ends of the floor defensively. They were very disciplined in executing their game plan. But I think for the Nets, this is something you go back and you think, now we have the film. We need to learn from this. And there's no opponent that you could take for granted. You need the same amount of focus and energy regardless of who you are playing. But when it does come down to some of those last-second possession, last minute, I think it's good to have those moments. It's good to really start to understand and feel those moments of a game. Yeah, you mentioned the extra shot. Charlotte shooting 14 more field goal attempts in this game than Brooklyn thanks to those offensive rebounds yeah. and then the Nets turnovers. Sarah, how about just experiencing this early in the season? I mean, you'd rather learn in a win, but is there value to learning in a loss like this? Without a doubt. And it's, it's easy to say looking back, but I think there's so much value to that considering the fact that the first two games, they manhandle them those teams and so when you have those that's even what I'm talking about with those you know the crunch time and those moments of the game and just figuring out how are we going to go through this and Steve Nash you know calling a timeout not calling a timeout uh, who's going to have those last, last second shots how are we going to navigate through all of this this uh, these are a part of the things that you build upon and I think for this team there was so much to look at and they have stated this throughout the course of whether it's pre-game post-game practice that they're not satisfied with the previous games they've done they know that there is a lot of learning that goes along with that and I think they're going to have a big chunk of it here to take tonight now looking ahead to Memphis second half of a back-to-back -back, we know with the Nets roster that could mean you know absences from some key players one guy who I, I would think maybe in there regardless Sarah is Timotei Luawu Cabarro who was terrific in that fourth quarter really building on what we saw at the end of last year but it'll be a fun matchup against the Memphis team that's looked good at the start of this season yeah I mean it, what John Morant has been able to do you know throughout the course of last season coming in the the defending rookie of the year I should say in just the pieces of that team that's scrappy they're hungry and it's going to be a very good test we'll also see um, you know what the lineup looks like, what the personnel looks like for the Brooklyn Nets. But overall, I think an opportunity for a lot of players to get some good time.